cannot wait to dig in. Welcome back to Enjoy Spoonful, guys and la ladies, of course, um, or welcome to the newcomers. This is the Enjoy Spoonful channel where we talk about food, discuss its origins as well as recipes, where they come from, how they are made. And today's new world, we like to eat on a go sometimes, which means sandwiches. And today we eat quite a lot of them, to be honest. And so I thought that I'm gonna give sandwiches an episode as well. Um, as we all know, sandwich has a particular name, sandwich. And the funny thing is where the name came from. It was popularized more specifically in 1762 in England by certain John Montagu, who is, was the fourth Earl of Sandwich. Make connections now? Can you see the dots connecting? So in fact, this little fellow was not very charming or very trustworthy or very mm, good in relationships. He was also a big gambler. There was a part of his life where he gambled all day and all night long. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but he didn't want to leave a table, so he asked to bring his food to the table. And he wanted to have something between two sides of bread, so he could not mush the cards with his wet hands. Thus, he liked it so much that he kept on ordering this. All the time he was playing get cards, and at some point it just got it just stuck. So now we have a sandwich. Funny thing is that I, from what I researched and found out that he did not think of it himself, he inspired from mostly from Mediterranean travels he had where people are eating mezes in Greece, for example, where they put stuff on the bread as well already, or in between even two breads. Speaking of bread, um, archaeologists have found some charred crumbs dating back to 14,500 years before. So yeah, we've been eating bread quite a lot with our civilization here right now. That's a little intro for the sandwiches as a history. Now, so when I thought of this episode, I was I'm gonna... So when I thought of this episode, I'll say I'll not make just one recipe, I'll make two of them. And more specifically, because I'm in Europe, I did, I, did, I did already too many recipes of the new world, I'll stick to the old world. And more specifically, I'll put two nations that have been regular, been pickering at each other quite a while, France and England. So in the red corner, we have BLT. In the blue corner, we have croque madame. So let's make those two sandwiches now and eat them. Well, I'll eat them. You have to watch me eating them. Let's make those sandwiches and see what they bring to the table. Hi. For BLT sandwich, it's pretty easy. What you have to do is just take some bread, which I prefer sourdough, baguettes, um, easy like toaster bread, but better quality than just supermarket one, please. Go to the bakeries, they make good bread there as well. Um, and support the local bakeries, please. Mm. So what happens? So, uh, so all, there's a little bit of cooking involved. What we have to cook is just to crisp up the bread and the bacon because bacon has to be crisp, 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 crisp. All right. So what you do? Just you can put um, streaks of bacon on a on a rack, put it under the grill, and leave it there for until it crisps up. Or you can also do it in a pan if you don't have a grill. Up to you. Or if you have a panini machine, you can also do that in the panini machine. That doesn't work as well. So, after that's been done, so we have to slice the tomatoes. Don't take them too thin nor too thick, just enough to make it interesting the texture. Then also put some lettuce, so you can slice it up in streaks to make it more interesting. Or just leave the leaves whole. And for our course, we have to put mayo there, because the whole recipe has mayo. But we're gonna make mayo a bit more interesting. We're gonna zest some lemon there, and also chop some potato basil there. Why not? Because we can. So when everything is built up and done, and when everything is cooked, you start building your sandwich. But before we get to that, let's talk about the croque madame. Alors, mesdames, messieurs, pour le croque madame, it will take a bit more time, and I stop with French accent right now. Uh, so what it comes to do, first of all, I would advise you to start with the bechamel sauce. So what you have to do with that is just take a pot, not too big one, drop a butter there, start milling it down, then add a flour, start mixing it till it cooks off. How you can see if it cooks off? Well, by your nose, which is mean like we're smelling, it starts smelling like baked pastry. When that's done, start adding milk bit by bit. 
and don't forget to whisking all the time because you don't want to have lumps on the, or you have to go and seal it which gonna lose your time you have to clean more stuff so just keep some whisking all the time and don't forget about that so when you have bechamel ready in the meantime you can also crisp up your bread in the oven or also in a panini machine or in the in the toaster or again in the pan. Then what you have to do is put some Dijon mustard that's going to bring a bit more interesting flavor profile to, the, to this little croque madame. And then start putting your ham, your grated cheese, which this time I went for, I went a bit more traditional route, I went for Emmental. So you can or slice it if you don't have time or grate it. B both works. But also don't forget to add that emmental to your bechamel sauce. When you can have it assembled, assembled, put it again a bit in, in panini grill to, crisp, to melt the cheese a bit. And take it out. Put some bechamel sauce on top of that. Add a bit more cheese if you want. Put it in the oven under the grill so it starts crisping up even more, melting even more cheese. And then, and then, meanwhile, start cooking your egg. When it comes to eggs, they don't cook on a high temperature, better cook them low and not, well, kind of slow. So take a bit of oil, maybe a bit too much than you usually do. Crack your egg there, cook it slow, don't rush it. When you think it's almost done, turn on the heat. It's gonna have enough heat to cook it by itself, then take it out, dampen it in a tea towel. By that time, your sandwich should be ready, take it out. Let's assemble those two guys now. So we have on the left side, BLT on the right side, croque madame. So guys, here we go. Two contestants. One a bit on the healthier side, one a bit on the naughtier side. Well, I mean like... No, I just have to dig in. So we call a licking egg yolk. Ooh, ooh, just what you like to do. Here we go. A little bit too. Dip the water here. Mm hmm. Delicious. Now, let's go for this little guy. You can, cut as much as, you can cut as well like triangles or squares, whatever you prefer. I prefer triangles. Let's give this one a try. Crispy bread, crispy bacon. Nothing wrong with that either. I mean, what of these considerers are doing fine? I think it's a tie. Maybe you can help me decide which one you prefer the most. Rock Madame or BLT. Please leave in the comments below. Also share like how would you like to make them yourselves? Do you have any tips and tricks for how you make them? or like some test steps that I might be missed and you do it as well. Because I imagine like I'm not British, not French. I visited IKEA a few times and I've lived in France for six years, so I might have gotten something on the road, but I might be wrong as well. Click on the like button if you enjoyed this video, share with your friends you think they're gonna like it and you want them to make this kind of sandwiches for you. And if you wanna see more of these videos, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.